Yo guys and gals, what is going on? And welcome back to another episode of Plymouth Argyle's Road to Glory, Road to Winning the European Cup, Road to Winning the Premier League, Road to Getting in the Premier League, whatever you want to call it, this is that road to that. Since you were last with us, it's been a... I thought we were doing really rubbishly. Like In my head, I thought we have been doing really, really poor, but it turns out we've been doing rather well. So keep me too big for too long because nobody wants to see my ugly mug. We ain't here for me. We're here for football manager. So, yeah, as I said, we're back for the Ipswich game. And the reason we're back for the Ipswich game is just how much Ipswich ran away with the league last year. Just in case you haven't seen, so we'll have a quick look. Go back. Go uh, stages. And we will have a look last season. As you can see, Ipswich absolutely ran away. I had to finish with 103 points. And they finished with 115 points. So... I thought it'd be a good, interesting to see where we've both come so far and how much further we are. Like we're in fifth at the moment, Ipswich are down in ninth. So, you know, if they win, they could, you know, they match us on points and, and, and catch up to us. So it's super close between us and Ipswich at the moment. Hence the reason I thought it would be good to come back. So look at how we've done uh, since we left you at the Southampton game in the Carabao Cup fourth round, which we snuck 1-0. We then went and drew 1-0 at home to Stoke, which I was disappointed with, but it was my own fault due to the fact that I think I made a few changes which weren't necessarily weren't needed, and I ended up mucking up. We lost to Sheffield United, who at the time were top of the league and are currently still top of the league. So we lost to the league leaders, which isn't nothing to be too ashamed about, really. Beat Birmingham 2-1, beat QPR 4-1, both of those games were at home. Then we beat Huddersfield 2-0 away. Went and scrumped the 1-0 win against Millwall away. Not bad at all. Single goal from Manu. Uh, Whitaker missed a penalty as well. He missed two penalties in two games, I think. Yeah, he did. He missed another penalty in the game against Watford, where we drew 2 all. which technically, if he'd scored that penalty, he would have won 3-2. But a really good result against Watford. I was, I, was, I was disappointed with it, but I'm happy with it looking back, just because I'm always disappointed if we don't win. Looking back, that's a decent result against Watford. In the last game, we just beat Reading 2-1. Schmitty and Perea getting the goals, which, again, I was super-duper happy about, just due to the fact that... We want the points on the board. I would love to get out of this division first time of asking, if I can. And it was a massive ask for everything that we've got, budget that we had this season. But to get out, I feel, would be the best thing. So let's not muck around and jump right into the Ipswich game. My team is pretty much... No, I'm going to select a few players and I'll come back and I'll give you the starting eleven. So right back with you. We are set with our what I feel is our best eleven for this, this game going into the Ipswich match. I've got Josh Griffiths and go Divine. Namdi Collins, Rob Atkinson, who's just returned from injury, seems to get injured every international break. He doesn't go away on international duty. He just gets injured on in, when, when everyone else is away. Oh, uh, when, 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 we're, when we're not playing for international duty. Hayden Roberts, Jake Garrett, Doherty, Tariq Wright on the left due to injuries. Whitaker, Perea, Tariq Wright on the right, sorry. Prey on the left, Whitaker as support striker and Shimiti up front. Although I'm going to change the Wright brothers around. Callum Wright is going in for Tariq Wright. And Perea is going in on because he scored last time he was over there. So quick change around and we will go with that as our starting eleven. Let's give it a mash and see how we get on. We actually beat Ipswich at home last season. So if we count our last performance, we will do well. But then we lost to them in the cup final, the pizza cup final and the league obviously previous episodes are obviously all below go check them out that would be fabulous doff it with the corner doesn't beat the first man which isn't ideal roberts whips out to the left it was did come in as a center back but i've trained him as a left back and he's done all right this season perea into shimitti and that makes it one nil yes 10 minutes gone. Oh, the replay. Because I'm live streaming, I'm playing through. I'm, I've been skipping replays. So it just takes a long time. So, But yeah, sorry guys. I will make sure that we do all replays. Replays are essential. Divine. Perea. Doherty. Out to Roberts again. He's got a bit of space. He goes past this man. And he's belting in. And Callum Wright pops up from somewhere. So Doherty. Hayden Roberts for I'm going. I see the space. I'm gone. Doink. Oh, yeah. Had a shot. Rebounded in. 
and Callum Wright tucks in the rebound to make it 2-0 to Plymouth inside of 12 or 15 minutes. Schmitty with a nice header. Callum Roberts tried to send Schmitty again, who tried to go into the space. Collins with a nice interception. Win it. Well won by Hayden Roberts. Callum Wright. Oh, give the ball away. Oh, but he does win it back. Perea, Whitaker. Schmitty's brought down. Right, change, change. I forgot to change the penalty takers. No, it's Whitaker again. Didn't even give me a chance to change it. He's fucking missed the third one. He's missed a fucking third one. He cannot take penalties for shit. That's unbelievable. He's missed three penalties in a row. The ball to Schmitty wasn't bad, though. Perea. He tried something but couldn't. There's an injury in the middle of the park. Oh, there's a long range strike. But one of the Ipswich players went down, Chaplin. Callum Wright just couldn't get there. Doherty, Garrett. Oh, he loses it to Harper. Broadhead brings it forward. Burns. Mozzie, Barnes, oh, and it's which have gotten back through Rakeem Harper. What was plain sailing for Plymouth is now. They made it difficult for themselves. Two shots, one go. Annoying. The annoying, that is. F on me. I'm still going to demand a little bit more. Hayden Roberts, oh, he burst into the box again. Divine. I think he's yet to get his first goal for the club, but the right back. Oh, I'm pretty sure he has scored, actually. No, he's not. Oh, he's playing well in that centre midfield bath. The free kick Whitaker steps up. Can he make up for the penalty miss? He hit the crossbar. It was unlucky. It was unlucky. Oh, he's a little bit closer this time. Oh, and Morgan Whitaker. That'll do you, lad. That's better. That makes up for the penalty miss. The first one was a sighter. The second one was a beaut. So, half time, happy with the number of shots we've had. I always find that's a good one. I say this. So, if we can just see it out now, boys, let it let it play its, its course out. Divine. Perea. That was a lovely challenge by there. Oh, oh, he's stolen it. And the linesman's running away. And Schmitty will take the goal to make it 4-1 to Plymouth Argyle. Stolen. Oh, Schmitty just got himself back on side. Just. <laughs> but yeah, that will do a good job in seeing the game out. Hopefully, put a bit of a nail in the coffin. He's back from an injury, so I don't want to exhaust him. Freddie Draper get a run. Reyes played really well, but he is on the yellow, so, you know, let's rest him off. Allow him to come through. Um, Great. 
Griffiths. Hope this performance played well today as well. Which is good. He did concede early in silly, but... Mm. 7.1 overall after conceding easy. Callum Wright couldn't get the cross away. Oh, it's a lovely goal, but it's offside. I think there was a couple of offsides. The Dofferty threw, yeah, offside there, definitely. Not offside there. Tariq Wright's unselfish pass back inside. Goal on assist for Whitaker in the end. Enjoys that support striker role. Fantastic win. So I did not expect us to end up 4-1 winners. Keeps us in fifth position. But takes us a few points ahead of, Ip, uh, of Ipswich as well. So a goal difference of 24. We've got the best goal difference in the league. Still eight points behind Sheffield United who look fantastic. Coventry look really good as well. So we are we are playing catch up. But we will be back for the Crystal Palace away game in the quarter final of the Carabao Cup. So we'll see you there. We've gone which I didn't even know, 40 games at home unbeaten, which is pretty good, isn't it? I didn't know that. I genuinely didn't know that we had gone 40 games over the last sort of end of last season, beginning of the season, 40 games unbeaten. Another thing I did want to look at quickly is the player stats. Let's have a look. Who's doing what? Therese Campbell and um, Sh um, Titi. Shamiti, sorry, and Titi. Shamiti are both on 14 goals. Shamiti's had the most shots. By a country mile. Key passes, key passes from Missouri. We've missed him since he's been out. Nandy Collins got the most yellow cards. Most team goals. Most shots per 90. Schmitty. So we're leading a few of the of the charts. So let's select our team for the cup game. Quarter final cup game against Crystal Palace. So we've got Josh Griffiths, Alfie Devine, Namdi Collins, Jack Stevens, Hayden Roberts, Jack Garrett, Dofferty. Perea on the right, Whitaker through the centre, Callum right and Shimitti right, set pieces, penalties. I'm just going to put Shimitti in there. Shimitti's always going to be playing. I'd rather he miss than anybody else. I just don't trust Whitaker anymore. Perea, Callum right, just to make sure Whitaker does not get another penalty. So. This is going to be tough because this is legit Premier League opposition. I didn't see how Crystal Palace were actually doing in their league campaign. We're underdogs. Go and cause a few surprises. I have faith in you to make a difference. I have faith in you to make a difference. It's a good team. I'm up against a really good team here. Guy Dest, oh, free kick early on. Gonna be Eze. Oh, dinged it off the crossbar and Roberts manages to hoof it to safety. It's close. Right, let's just try a bit of encouragement on 10 minutes. Oh, Callum Wright's picked up a knock. Oh, we're giving away a penalty. Penalty awarded and Balogun won it. I think he'll step up to take it as well. Oh no, Edward will take it and he'll slot it in, send the keeper the wrong way. And Crystal Palace take a lead after 16 minutes. Chamberlain, good save from Griffiths, it had to be. Tariq Wright for Perea. And they have another clear cut chance. They are absolutely dominating. After 20 minutes, we just can't get anything together. Colin Stevens. 
I tried to flip one through, but I just couldn't get there. Johnson says it win it. No win it. Good save again from Griffiths. Wow. He made himself look huge. Hayden Roberts can't really get rid of Chamberlain, who looks really nifty on this right hand side. Roberts, guy. Johnston. Chamberlain again finds Sergio Dest who carried on his run. Whips it across and Edward. Let's try a bit more encouragement. Dove with a corner and just over. I think we'll flip this to positive. That's when they attack, they look mean. If we can go in one now at half time, I can get the players there. Maybe I can put a bit of juice in them. Roberts to Schmitty. We're not totally out of this. Stevens tries a clever ball over the top and prayer just. Another highlight is worrying though. Especially when they've got it. Win it. Nope, they won it. Oh, nice work from Stevens as he steps in. Perea finds Schmitty, who gets around the corner, but oh, he gets around the keeper, but just couldn't flick it around the corner. Perea just couldn't keep it in. Two chances for Argyle right near the end of half time. And a corner. Go on, Schmitty. Nods it. I do apologise for that noise. Pump fist. Let's just go point finger. You're unlucky, you've done nothing wrong. And then go pump fist. Nope. You're not bad, have faith you can improve. And try another encouragement bomb and let's hope. Neither of us are getting many on target. They've had 13, 4, and 7 and 1. Whitaker. Finds a yard of space inside the tarot right back to Divine. Garrett just couldn't get over the shot. He got a bit behind it and sent it rising. Eze. Pereira does make a challenge. A risky bloody slide tackle like that. Oh, and Balogun skips through and yeah, here's the game. Griffiths that time. Goal either side of half time for Crystal Palace. It's killed the game off. Unlucky we competed that we weren't totally ripped out of it. We've had a few chances ourselves, which I'm happy with. But just Palace's overall strength and abilities just done us, isn't it? Um, I don't want it to be an absolute dick in. Um, butcher. Cool, we'll let that be. I'll just sit back on my 5 3. No encouragement bomb. I just don't want to get absolutely dicked by him. I'm not too mad. We've definitely like kicked look the change in this formation is unbelievable. I've created chances with my <laughs> Unlucky. I 
I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna be, be, be a bit a bit mad of them, but not too mad. So there we have it, guys. We fifty percent in this in this video, so that's not too too terrible. Bit disappointed, bit deflated, but anyway, we are we are out of the Carabao Cup at the quarterfinal stage, which I wasn't expecting to get to the quarterfinal stage, so I'm so I'm relatively happy with that. We will look to be back, I think, for the third round of the FA Cup. Yeah. That one, two, three, yeah, that moves on five games. I'll be back for the third round of the FA Cup. We'll do that one. Actually, no, I won't. I'll be back for the Wolves game. We'll come back to the Wolves and the Sheffield United game. So, yeah, I think doing the Wolves and the Sheffield United game will be will be pretty good. So, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Please comment, like, subscribe if you're if you're wondering what the f we are, where the f we are, why the f we're this far into this. Then please go back, check all the other videos, all in the playlists, all, all around the YouTube channel. So, please check them out. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all of the other beans and all of the other guff. It's been fun. Much love from me. Peace.